Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, June 4th. I'm James Spann. Nice, quiet weather across the northern half of the state. A few storms down south, but not many today. A little action in the Gulf of Mexico. A uh, lot to talk about. Let's get in there and do it. Uh, we'll start with some of the SkyCam shots around the network today. That's our Fayette SkyCam. The sky there is mostly sunny. Temperatures are well up in the 80s. Work our way south. That's the uh, SkyCam at Selma overlooking the Alabama River. Partly sunny and Hey, look at that uh, thunderstorm off in the distance over the Gulf of Mexico. That's seen from the SkyCam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. Had a few storms down there today, but very widely spaced. Weather looks good for the rest of the week. Generally speaking, especially from Gulf Shores over to Pensacola, Panama City somewhat in question. That depends on the tropical system down in the Gulf. Uh, there's the big picture. The primary westerlies are north of the state, as we expect in June. Tropics are getting active. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s in most spots. Birmingham, 88. Coleman at 83. But you go down south, Montgomery's got 91. And about the only thing happening over North Alabama is that mystery echo on radar. What is that? That was captured at 257 uh, from the Weather Service radar at high top. And uh, at this point, uh, we were showing this echo over Redstone Arsenal. Uh, there is no precipitation. Uh, there, uh, that is not chaff. There are no controlled burns. Uh, we just don't know. Uh, so we're, we'll keep working that. Uh, in terms of severe weather, potential uh, for a few severe storms west of the state across the southern plains tomorrow. A risk over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. And on day three, no formal risk. The low end 5% chances into Alabama, but organized severe weather not really expected. Rain maybe one inch for the next five days. This carries us through the weekend, through Sunday evening. The big numbers over central and south Florida. Uh, from I-10 South, uh, Jacksonville, Daytona Beach, Melbourne, Orlando, Tampa Bay, uh, Fort Myers, and Miami. They'll get a good soaking with this tropical feature. The circle guys are up to a 40% chance of this becoming a depression. Uh, the system is not organized. Uh, the Hurricane Hunter is not going in there today. The circulation center is displaced well to the west of the convection. There's a low-level swirl there, but not much convection near that. Uh, that's drifting north. Uh, modeling, generally speaking, wants to take it now somewhere into the Florida panhandle. But remember, this is not a hurricane. It won't be a hurricane. This is mainly a rainmaker. And often with these weak systems like this, the big rains are displaced well to the east. So even though you see those lines coming up toward Pensacola and Destin and Panama City, the bigger rains probably to the east of there. Uh, most models do not bring this to a tropical storm, uh, which is good. And this is the NAM precipitation. Now, the NAM has been an outlier to the west, but the other models are kind of shifting westward. Uh, it's got the axis of heavier rain coming up through uh, uh, Apalachicola, Pensacola, or um, uh, Panama City, Tallahassee, then up to Atlanta, Greenville, South Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. My gut says the, that axis of heavier rain might be a little east of there. But clear, one way or the other, the big rains from this feature should be east of Alabama, at least this part of the state. Let's go through modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Westerlies are up north, upper low over Minnesota. Uh, down below that, moisture begins to come back. We'll bring in the chance of a few scattered afternoon showers and storms tomorrow. Uh, the high should be in the 80s. Go to Thursday. Uh, the tropical low is moving toward uh, Florida. We've got a pretty deep moisture axis here. So, again, cloudy at times, scattered showers and storms. Not going to rain all day. This is Thursday night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Friday morning. And the GFS kind of splits the tropical low. It's got one piece hanging back over the Gulf, another piece coming up toward Charleston, and a broad low over Alabama. Uh, let's look, though, at the RPM. I think this has a better grasp on it. The RPM takes this thing into uh, a point near Apalachicola or Panama City Thursday night. This is uh, 8.30 local time or uh, central time, 9.30 eastern time Thursday night. Uh, and this would bring some heavier rain up into Dothan and Eufaula and maybe Phoenix City and Columbus and much of Georgia if this scenario is right. Uh, but again, most of Alabama should be on the dry side. And then 6 o'clock, uh, 
Friday morning central time. It's got the thing just east of Atlanta with big rains east of the state. So uh, typically the RPM does a pretty good job of handling these and we'll kind of ride with that scenario. So the bigger range from the tropical low should be east of Alabama. Uh, and in terms of the Gulf Coast, if you've got a beach trip coming up, uh, the bigger rains probably from about Destin East. And that would mainly be during the day Thursday. The weather should improve greatly on Friday. There'll still be scattered showers around, but I think Thursday might be the target rain day with that Gulf feature for uh, Panama City and Destin and then points on to the east. For Gulf Shores, the effect would be you know, not that great. Uh, this is midday Friday. The tropical system on the GFS is near the uh, tidewater, and around here we're still in a moist air mass, so again, have the chance of scattered showers and storms, maybe numerous at times. But hey, drier air begins to arrive for the weekend. This is Saturday. The shower is pushing way down to the south. The northern half of the state should be dry. And Sunday looks mostly rain-free for this part of the world. Mostly sunny with a high maybe approaching 90. And Monday of next week still looks dry for the most part. And Tuesday, an upper high developing around here. And that might bring the hottest weather so far this year, if this is right. We'd be mostly dry, and by golly, the GFS is printing 94 Tuesday of next week. Uh-oh. Uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on the trend there. It's really the first time we've seen a look like that. Hopefully, the numbers will back off in future runs. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.